Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Welcome to the Video Game Fight School channel. Today I have a Batman video. We're going to be talking about something that is a heated argument or a non-argument anymore because it's been extensively discussed. But this is something that I wanted to show you based on my own personal experience. And I think that's one of the best ways to approach this argument because gamers are different. We approach games differently. And so it's nice for me to be able to kind of share my take and read about your take. So when I'm done with this video, in the comment section, if you've played Batman Arkham Knight, let me hear what you think about the Batmobile. Now, if you notice my main story file, I've beaten that, um, you know, that story at 120 percent. I think I've completed the DLC stories. Um, I think I've also gotten not like I think I know I've gotten all the Riddler trophies. In fact, one of the really interesting things was a lot of people didn't know that it actually snowed when you finished with the, you know, that mission that leads you to the snow. I don't want to spoil it for many people, but if you've actually played that DLC with uh, Mr. Freeze, Victor Freeze, um, you know, you're going to see this at the end of everything. Gotham is going to become a snowy city. That's one of the really cool things about this. Now, with the Riddler, we can have, there it is. I just wanted to show you guys so that you would know. I saw a video clip where somebody had it one time and some people were like, there's snow in Gotham. There is snow in Gotham when you get to a specific point. That's all I wanted to show you guys, okay? Now, the Batmobile. How much use did it get in this game and how tiresome can it be? Now, judging by what you see, I've beaten this game clearly here and I've beaten the game story on the PlayStation 4 as well. It's a game that I really enjoy and a game that I really like. But in what I realized was when I went to my, you know, my story plus playthrough, I finally got to that big, huge Batmobile battle that you get um, in that little island, I can't remember exactly what island it is, with, um, what's his name, uh, the, the Arkham Knight. And one of the interesting things that happened was once I got there, I told myself I was going to come back and play it. But every time I come back and want to, you know, start dealing with this nonsense again, I find myself shutting the game down. Does that make sense? I just find myself in a place where... I don't want to play it. I don't want to deal with it anymore because I just feel like as much as it's a, it was a very nice mechanic to experience at the onset of the game, this particular sequence has got me tired. Does that make sense? Like I, I, I'm sick. I'm tired of it. I don't want to do it anymore. And I think this has stunted a potential extra playthrough and potential hours that I could have spent on Batman Arkham Knight even playing the game. And I think this is basically, you know, where the the mechanic overstayed its welcome. It's a very nice mechanic, don't get me wrong. The vehicle is smooth to drive. Um, you know, I played it on console first when I moved to start playing it on PC. My goodness, I was impressed as to how sweet that frame data was. I mean, you could drive so smoothly. If you've played it on console and you think the game was, you know, good on console, try coming to play the enhanced, well, I say enhanced version on PC because at launch, it was actually, a, a, you know, apparently reported to be a, a disaster. But now they came, they even took, I think they took it off the Steam store, they worked on it, and then they put it back and the game is now just basically jelly. It's a very good game, very solid game. But this mechanic basically just outstayed its welcome. And I hope that in the new Batman games, I hope they're able to do something much more creative uh, in regard to how they introduce any new mechanic and not let that new mechanic be overbearing to the players. That's basically what I've seen with the Batmobile. Um, you know, the sequence where you have to go in and, you know, fight with the Arkham Knight, uh, the Batmobile combat against uh, Deadshot. I mean, what was that? You get to meet a very formidable enemy of Batman and it's relegated to a fight within a Batmobile. And don't get me wrong, this video is not me saying that the Batmobile is good. I'm just saying that it got to a point where even after you deal with it, the very, very first few hours... Uh, you know, of maybe the first playthrough or whatever. And then when you start to want to go in depth into the game, it doesn't really appeal much to me. Maybe in the AR challenges, the, the AR challenges have a huge amount of, you know, Batmobile 
challenges that you can do. You know, there are a bunch of them, but look how much of them I've done. Not a lot. It didn't appeal to me to go back and start trying to race. This says take on Bleak Island time trial and all that stuff. So I have to do all these other time trials in order to get it. So the racing didn't appeal to me. Um, you know, the even the combat, the tank combat did not appeal to me that much. So, I mean, what am I doing here is the question that I'm asking myself. And not every mechanic is supposed to appeal to me. What appeals to me is just the combat map. I'm a simple guy. I see combat, um, you know, stuff. I click and I go ahead and start trying to explore and trying to get the high scores. Yes, I haven't gotten the high scores on all of them, but you got to understand Riddler trophies were really on my mind more than anything else. And I was so happy for Batman's fist to be able to touch his face, if you get what I mean. Anyways, that's basically my experience with the Batmobile. I felt like the mechanic was not welcome, for, you know, in, in a sense for me. I felt a lot frustrated in many cases. Maybe it's just my inability to be able to play that kind of, uh, you know, gameplay sequence. But I'm hoping that when we're seeing the new Batman game, we're not going to get anything that's too much. I think bare bones is nice. And then a little bit of creativity whenever a new mechanic is basically going to provide that balance. Anyways, that's basically the end of my video. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Thank you very much for your time and audience. If you appreciate the content, let me hear your thoughts in the comment section as well. And hopefully we'll see in another video. Peace out.